As Newsday's David Godfredson reports, the demand for the vaccine will be overwhelming, and that's when scam artists see an opportunity. British grandmother Maggie Keenan is the first person in the world to receive the Pfizer vaccine against COVID-19. So wonderful, really. Yes. The UK's first 800,000 doses are going to the most vulnerable, hospital and nursing home workers and the elderly. But as demand for the vaccine increases, so does the potential for scams, according to the FBI. They would reach out via email, they'd reach out via uh, telemarketers, or they would reach out on a malicious website and direct potential victims to that website. At the beginning of the pandemic, the FBI raided the Carmel Valley offices of Dr. Jennings Staley, later charging him with offering to sell fake COVID treatment kits to an undercover agent. The FDA saw an explosion of immunity formulas, COVID cough syrups, and magnetic therapy devices promising to cure COVID. And now fake vaccinations will almost certainly start to hit the internet. Experts say consumers need to beware of online offers and make appointments for vaccinations directly from local doctors or hospitals. Anybody that's offering you a vaccine, you have to demand proof. The potential of long waits to get a vaccine will create a void and crooks will pray, promising immediate availability. And while the scammers may be looking to make a quick buck, that's not all you need to worry about. It's not the money that you need to be concerned about. It's that false sense of security that you're immune. The first people to get the vaccinations here in the United States will be healthcare workers and elderly people in nursing homes. Marcella, That's right, David. We know that most people in the general public will not be able to get that vaccine until early next year, right? That's right. So if you see online advertisement before earlier next year, uh, it's probably too uh, good to be true because the vaccination is not going to be available to the rest of us until later. So keep those masks on and be patient. All right. You can always check with your own health provider, of course, just to verify if something uh, does seem too tempting or too good to be true. Thanks for that info, David.